excited we have another Lulu try on um, this one is basically just like a summer haul I have so many items this is honestly probably the most I've ever had for a try on before because if you remember oh man maybe like two weeks ago they had their huge sale that went on for like five days and I know I had a lot of you ask me if I would do a sale try on but I didn't want to do like two videos like back to back. So we're kind of just combining it all in here. So let's get right on into it. Per usual, all my measurements will be listed down below. All of these items will be linked down below um, along with like the size I got in it. And whew, yeah, we have a lot to get through. So let's get started. Because this was more of just like a summer haul, there wasn't like anything specific that I was looking to get. I just posted a poll on Instagram and asked, or posted a question box on Instagram and asked what you guys would like me to try. So a lot of the items are brand new to me and they were all of the items that you guys wanted me to try. So first one up, we're gonna start with the bras. You guys know I love my free to be wild bras. They are by far my favorite. I am wearing a blue one right now. I absolutely love them. Um, I had a lot of you asking if I would try the Free To Be Wild high neck bra. So that's what I got. I just got a basic white one because you can never have enough white bras in my opinion. But overall, I would say I like this just as much as I like the normal Free To Be Wilds. It doesn't go up too high to where it's like restricting or anything like that. Um, overall, it's, it fits the exact same. It obviously just has more coverage so I really liked this one a lot I still prefer the normal free to be wild just because when you go to wear it with like tank tops and stuff obviously the higher neck ones you could only wear with higher neck tank tops um, or else it would kind of stick out of your shirt so I still think I prefer the original one but the high neck is very nice if you like high neck um, still really comfy and of course you get the same strappy back speaking of free to be wild um, I also got this one because Anytime they come out with a new color, I basically get it because these are my favorite. They're just so comfy. Um, I say this in every video, but I'm not super busty, so I don't need a ton of support. And this bra is just so comfortable. Like this is my day to day bra. Um, perfect for workouts, perfect for just wearing around. Like I said, <laughs> wearing one right now. They're just so comfortable. And I thought this color was very cute and very summery. Next bra up, I've actually had, um, I've had this for couple weeks now and I think I may have I definitely talked about it on a vlog I don't know if I've done a try on with it but the quiet within bra I love this thing it is the new loom material I got two colors to start and then they were sold out of this in the store so I ended up ordering it online because I think this color is really pretty so this was like the newest one I got very strappy I was nervous that like the little parts in the front and just the little straps like this in the back might squeeze and kind of like pinch your skin a little bit, but it doesn't at all. It's very comfy. It has like the same coverage as the Free To Be Wild, just it's the Nulu material and the straps look a little bit different. Um, probably like, it's like a combination of the Flow Y bra and the Free To Be Wild. But I like this a lot. I think it's very cute. All right, last bra I'm gonna talk about. Um, I talked about this in a vlog, but I didn't actually like try it on for you guys. This is the Up For It bra. I have this in one other color from when they first launched it. They actually gifted me the bra, and um, I absolutely loved it. I got this during the sale. I don't know if it's not one of their like top sellers, and that's why it was on sale. But regardless, I think it's very comfortable. You guys have heard me say so many times that I don't really like real bras. They just don't fit me very well, or at least I haven't found any that fit me very well. But this is more of like a real bra. It has really structured padding, but it's not like too much. The bottom band is very comfortable and it has a cross in the back. So it still looks really good with like tank tops and it has the legit clasp in the back. I have found that this runs true to size. I got this in a 34B, which is my true size. Um, and yeah, I think these are very comfortable. So if you're like me and normally wear sports bras, but sometimes need to put on like a real bra, this is nice. It's almost like a t-shirt bra. I know those are very com or well comfortable, yes, but more like popular. So I really like this. 
All right, getting into the tank tops now, we have the fast as light tank mesh. So this isn't the same as like the swiftly material. I'm sure you guys are able to see like how see-through this is. Um, there's textured um, on there. It still looks like it has a silvorescent on there, but it's very cute. I love their tank tops like this that have the crisscross in the back and like an open back concept. It's very, very breathable. And yeah, I think this would be perfect for higher intensity workouts. And honestly, you could just kind of dress this up a little bit if you wanted to for like a cute athleisure look because the fit is very flattering. But yeah, I definitely think this is gonna be very sweat wicking and just like dry really quickly because it is very thin. Next one up, I absolutely love this color and I think it's so cute. It actually reminds me of the cinch in stretch short that I have from last year that I wear all the time and everybody asks me about because the shorts have this same like cinched look on the side. And anyway, total side note, but I just love this shirt. I love the color of it and I think it's really flattering on. This is called the All It Takes Tank and this is a thinner material as well. Um, it's a cropped length, but not like too cropped to where your entire stomach's gonna be showing. Um, and I think the little cinches on the side are really cute. They're very stretchy. So I was very happy with this. This probably wasn't something I would have normally grabbed, but I'm really glad I did. I, like I said, I was just kind of listening to your guys' recommendations and whatever you wanted me to try. And I'm really glad I got this. I think it's very cute. I officially think I have everything in the like soft ambition ease collection. Um, I got this tank top once again because you guys asked me to try it. There is another item in here as well that's part of this like little collection. But this is the ease of it all tank. This is definitely an oversized look, which I knew it was going to be just off the pictures on the website. But even like in person, it's almost a little bit more oversized. And the material itself, like I said this when I first got the ease of it all crop top, I believe that's what it's called, regardless whatever um it's like a heavier material but it almost has like that peach fuzz feeling on the outside the soft ambition shorts are like one of my favorite i absolutely love them i compared them to like chris's sweat shorts they're so comfy and pairing either the ease of it all crop t-shirt or this with them you just feel like it, you're wrapped in peach fuzz it's so comfortable so if you like looser tank tops, you'd really like this. I think it's really cute, and I like that it has the big scoop in the back. I did get a size six in this. I probably could have done a size four because it is pretty oversized, but I like the way the six fits. I still think it's really cute. Kind of going back and forth from like items you guys told me to get and items I got from the sale. This is the Cool Razorback Nulu. So if you guys have been following me for a while or just watched my Lulu try-ons for a while, any of the cool Razorbacks and the um, Power Y tanks, I actually have hemmed in store to make them more of a cropped length because they come very long. And all they will do, they'll like pin it up just like they would leggings and you can get it hemmed to be the perfect crop length on you. So that's what I do just because even though I love the tanks as is, because everything is high-waisted, I just prefer a cropped length. I feel like when it's full length, it just like clings to the area on our stomach where we don't want things clinging to. So I love these tank tops and I obviously love the Nulu material. So I was like, okay, on sale, I'm gonna get it. We can make another cropped tank top, sign me up. Um, these ones obviously don't have the built-in bras like the Power Y tanks do, but I thought this color was really cute and it's just so soft and comfy. So I'm very excited to go to the store and have them hem it. I actually went to the store a little bit ago and went to get things hemmed because I have like three other tank tops that I got to have cropped and they weren't doing hemming yet. So hopefully they are now. I have to call the store before I like waste a trip there, but it's very simple. You just go in, they'll pin it, get it cropped, I highly recommend. Next one up, this is honestly like a dressy tank top, I feel like. I looked at this for so long because I thought it was really cute on the model. This is the Bliss Out Tank, Blissed Out Tank. And it's like really, it comes up a lot higher in the back and then scoops down lower in the front. Um, higher neck, but this is a more like structured material. It says travel woven fabric. I don't know if you've tried that material from Lulu before, um, but it does. It feels like very like 
businessy. Um, definitely is not like a workout top. If, if there still is some stretch to it, but it is more structured than most of their other materials. Um, so it'd be perfect for to or from. I think this would be really cute paired with like high-waisted jeans or some kind of like nicer pant. I just think it would look really cute. The only thing with this, and I run into this with um, a lot of tank tops like this, because I'm wider around my rib cage and I have wider lats, I feel like this is, it doesn't go down as far as I like it to under my armpit. So it could cut in a little bit. Um, it, I definitely wouldn't have wanted a four. The six fits really good. So I would definitely stay true to size for this. Or if you're in between sizes, maybe go up um, just so it doesn't cut in on your lats. This is another item I got from the sale. Um, I actually have probably three of these already. The All Yours Boyfriend Tee. These are so comfy. I use these as sleep shirts. I use these as just chill shirts. Um, I'll pair these with high-waisted jean shorts too and just like tuck a little corner in or tie it. They're really cute and they are so comfortable. I feel like the oversized look is like definitely trendy right now and I just think these are like the perfect t-shirt. They are so soft and comfortable, lightweight, and they always have really, really cute colors. So I had to snag this in the sale too. Um, I do get sixes in these. I could wear four, but the six gives me a little extra length in my torso. So I'm happy I got the six. All right, we're moving on to my two wild card items. Um, I have never tried anything like this from them before and you guys asked me to try it, so here we are. I have the All Aligned A-Line Dress. Um, this is the Nulu material. It is so comfortable. When I was recording the try-on portion, I walked out to show Chris, and I was like, it is so stretchy and comfortable. Um, I feel like their dresses don't look super flattering online, but then you get them in person or try them in person, you're like, wow, this is actually super cute. At least that has been my experience so far. Um, I am usually not like a turtleneck person. I don't like high neck stuff like where it's actually going up my neck. Um, but I think this is really, really cute. Just put on a pair of comfy sandals with it like my Tory Burch flat ones. Um, there we go, I'd be done. You know, that's an outfit, looks cute. All you have to do, put some makeup on. Um, so yeah, I, I like this a lot. I'd highly recommend this. I think it's a really good length. Um, it does feel thicker, but when it's on, it doesn't feel like you would get too hot in it because it's more of that like looser fit and it's just so comfortable. <laughs> the second wild card is the Handle the Heat Romper. Um, I've actually seen a couple other people try this and really like it and I had a lot of you asking if I would try it. So I got a size six, um, which is once again my normal size when it comes to tops. So for dresses and rompers, I figured I'd wanna go with my top size cause that also includes like my torso. And that's where especially rompers give me problems or where they're not long enough on me and it just looks not good. But this is so thin, soft, breathable. Um, there's pockets in here, which I like. It's an appropriate length. So this is like 10 out of 10. I highly recommend, especially if you're a taller female and struggle with rompers like I do, you will absolutely love this. And yeah, I just feel like it's the perfect, perfect summer romper. You're not going to get too hot and it's super cute. I do have a lot of like sweatshirts and just like cozier tops to talk about, but I know you guys love shorts and leggings and joggers. So we're gonna take a little break from tops, talk about some shorts, or just bottoms, I guess. And the first ones up are going to be the Find Your Pace three inch line shorts. You guys told me to get these, and I actually snagged these during the sale, I believe. I love these things. I talked about them on Instagram already. Um, they remind me of a track short from when like I ran track in middle school and high school. They are completely open which don't let this scare you because they do have like full blown built-in underwear, but they are so comfortable. They have laser cut holes on the bottom. I don't know how well you guys can see. Um, there's also the little reflective dots on the front. These are like the perfect running short in my opinion. They're high waisted, but the waistband doesn't dig in. 
Um, I highly, highly, highly recommend these. I did get these in a size six. They fit perfect. That is my true short size. I'm a size four in all leggings and sixes in the like looser shorts like this, just because otherwise the built-in underwear digs into my booty. So I always get a size six. Sixes fit perfect. The next shorts up are more of like a to and from casual short. They're called the Stroll at Sundown three inch short. And I really like these. They're a little bit thicker than the Spring Breakaway short, which if you guys have watched my other try-ons, my shorts try-ons specifically, I talked about how much I love those. Um, I've been basically, anytime we do something where I like have to like dress up, um, I wear those with a cropped white tank top. I think it's very cute. The shorts are super breathable. These I would say are comparable to those, but they're a little bit more structured, a little bit thicker. Um, the band is a little bit thicker and they do kind of feel a little bit more like a workout pant, but similar to the spring breakaway short, just slightly different fit. They do have the pockets in the front. There's no pockets in the back though, um, but they do have the drawstring and the sixes fit really well in these as well. Anytime they come out with new six inch aligned shorts, I'm gonna start getting them because they go so quickly. You have to be like on top of it. If you follow me on Instagram, you know, anytime stuff like that gets restocked, anything align related and just shorts right now because the shorts sell out really quickly. I'm trying to post it and be like, hey, they're restocked so you guys can snag them. And these really cute six inch aligns got added. So I had to snag them. They had the matching flow Y bra which I thought I got, but I guess I didn't. Um, but these fit really well. I've tried these before. I do prefer the six inch over the four inch. They stay in place a lot better. I'm taller, I'm a hair under 5'8", so I think these just look a little bit more, one, conservative rather than the four inch on me. I still love the four inch for like at home, but if I am wearing tighter shorts to the gym, I really like the way the six inches fit in the align material. New Lou, if you guys have tried it, you know why I'm so obsessed with it. They are so comfy. All right, these leggings were probably the most requested ones you guys wanted me to try on that little um, question box or like comment box I had on Instagram. The Get Centered High Rise Crop 21 inch. First of all, I don't get many 21 inch like cropped leggings anymore. Everything's like 25 inch, they're 7 eighths length or full length and the design, just looking at them online, I'm like, eh, I don't know if those would be my favorite, but I told you guys I was getting whatever you wanted me to. So you guys really wanted to see these and I'm so impressed and thankful I got them. They are the new Lou material as well and they are seriously so comfortable. I think the lines on them, like the stitching is really, really flattering. The waistband's nice and high. They have a little pocket in the back and I love the color and yeah, I just, I think they're really, really flattering and they are so comfy. So I highly recommend these if you were like kind of on the fence because they, with any crazy stitching, I just never know. I'm like, eh, you know, I'll just stick to my basic aligned pants. Don't fix what's not broken. But if you like aligned pants, you're absolutely going to love these. The cropped length might be nicer for the summer. So I'm super excited to have a pair, wear them around more, because once again, they are just so comfortable. These were also another like highly requested legging. Also one that I was very skeptical about because I'm like, okay, like running specific leggings are just not my jam anymore because the waistband's usually super tight and I just don't ever do like running or any kind of activity like that where I need something really, really tight. And I was just super nervous these were gonna fit like that but they do not. The Rogue Renegade Super High Rise Tight 25 inch, um, which I will say, I took them out of the bag. I was like, holy cow, it's so high. The waistband, um, I think it's flattering. The back has like an actual elastic band and there's a pocket in the back. Um, the front part, there is a seam, but it doesn't really cut in at all. Um, I really like how they have the actual elastic band in the back. It's just really comfortable. And then it has all of this cool detailing on the front, which I like a lot. They have the side pockets. So if you're a runner or just like do higher intensity workouts, you're gonna love these. I like the fact that they're the seven eighth length still. They're not too warm. Um, and they just, they're more unique. You know, they have all this fun little detailing going on all over the pant. 
So, like I said, I was very surprised by these. I was super nervous. I was not really expecting to like them. The waistband surprised me. I do have a long torso, so for those of you who have shorter torsos, these might be very high-waisted on you, not might. They will be very high-waisted on you. So if you're shorter, shorter torso, maybe don't get these. It might be a little too much for your waist, but for my taller ladies who like higher intensity workouts and like leggings like this, you're gonna love these. Good old aligned pants. Um, I actually have the six inch aligns in this color as well. All of their diamond dye leggings. I honestly think I've had a diamond dye legging in every single one of these try-ons. I love them. Whenever they come out with a new diamond dye color, hop on it. They're gonna go quick. Um, I promise you they're gonna be like the most comfortable leggings you have. They're already the Nulu material, which makes them so buttery soft, but the diamond dye ones, I swear, are even softer, so comfortable. I have the purple, the blue, the charcoal gray, the light gray. I'll buy all of the diamond dye. They're so comfy. So I always prefer the 25 inch aligns over the 28. I really like the 7 8 length on me rather than the full length. Um, and for shorter girls, the 25 inch will probably hit you more like a full length rather than the 28 inch will be a little too long on you. So I always will have a pair of aligned pants in here because I can't help it. Speaking of 28 inch leggings, I got these during the sale. Um, one of my friends actually has them and she kept sending me pictures. She's like, you really need these. They're great. I do have a pair of the Wonder Under Lux Dreams already. Um, I actually have the black and white striped pair. This one is like a navy with light purple, it looks like. Um, but they only had them on sale in the, or even available in the 28 inch. Thankfully, I'm a little taller, so the 28 inch still fits me. I just prefer the 25. You could always go into the store to get them hemmed if they're too long on you. But I do think this color is really pretty and the Lux Dream material is really good for the higher intensity workouts. It's not gonna pill. Um, and like I was kind of saying before, they're true running tights, like the like speed up tight and um, a bunch of the ones that have like mesh, like there's a lot going on on them. I think they're great for people who love running and that pant like suits them very well. I personally just don't like the super compressive leggings. I liked more of the hugged sensation. So these are great for cardio for me. Um, I get that luxury material without having a super compressive pant. I told you guys we had a lot of items to get through. We are on the last two pants. We have some joggers. Um, I got these during the sale as well. These are the Wander joggers. I got these in a size six. So all looser shorts and joggers I get in sixes. Tighter shorts and leggings I get in fours. Um, these are the most lightweight jogger, probably just lightweight pant um, that I've ever felt. They kind of feel like the spring breakaway short just in a pant version and the bottom like tighter cuff around the bottom is super stretchy a really soft material so these are the perfect summer jogger i think especially if you're just going over to like have a cookout or sit by a fire or something um on a summer night i think these would be great they're super comfy and once again just very very lightweight they have pockets in them they're high-waisted we don't like non-high-waisted pants uh, at least I don't. <laughs> Last pant up, oldie but a goodie. You guys asked me to try these even though I've tried them before. I was not gonna question it because they came out with a new color that I really wanted to try. So we have the Ready to Rulu joggers. Oh, this color is beautiful and I haven't worn these in a while just because it is summer. I've been like living in shorts. I forgot how comfortable these are. They are just so freaking soft. I think they're the perfect jogger. Um, they're high-waisted, the waistband fits really, really good, and they're nice and comfy, cozy. They're not too thick though, which I really like. Um, so I definitely could wear these around the house during the summer and just be comfortable working from home, which I definitely will be doing because once again, I forgot how comfortable these things are. So highly recommend the, um, Oh, I've said this in so many past videos. The base runners used to be my favorite and then they switched from the base runners to Ready to Rulu. I didn't necessarily like them as much. The fit was a little different and then they updated the fit and I love them. So, highly recommend. All right, last little clump 
or section of items we have. This first hoodie up was actually one of the other items in that little comment box that was listed like 50 times. You guys really wanted to see all of the Get Centered stuff. It had just come out when I posted that on my Instagram, so that's probably why. And they have really cute colors. So this is the Get Centered cropped hoodie. Um, I'm usually not someone who loves the little keyhole detail in the front like that, but I told you I have like basically everything they've come out with in the soft ambition, ease, whatever, um, whole little category. This is that same fabric as the soft ambition shorts and the ease of it all tank and the crop t-shirt. So if you've tried those, you know you're going to love this. I could tell when I was looking at the pictures, I'm like, that's definitely the same material. Um, so very cute. The sleeves are more oversized. The whole sweatshirt is oversized, which I prefer that look. They do have little zip pockets. Like I said, there's a little keyhole in the front and it has a nice big hood. Next one up, I'm not going to lie. I think this actually might be my favorite, um, kind of like surprise item that I like so much. The LA back in action hoodie. <sighs> It's so cute and it's like so different. The color in there is just so pretty. It looks like Funfetti cake. Um, and it's super, super stretchy, really lightweight. I do think they had joggers that match this, but they weren't available when I bought this. And I don't necessarily need more joggers because I have a lot right now, but this is like a really oversized look. Um, still has a big hoodie and it's just so soft and comfortable. You guys are probably annoyed with me saying that, but I like soft and comfy things. So this is right up my alley and I just think it is so summery and cute. This is literally Funfetti cake batter, just on a sweatshirt. I did get a size six in this as well. Um, I probably could have fit into a four, but I really like getting sixes in the sweatshirts just to make sure the arms are long enough once again, I'm taller, longer torso, longer arms. I can run into problems with like sleeves not being long enough and the sixes usually fit me perfect. Next one up, I actually got the next couple ones I'm about to show you on sale as well. Um, this is the Rogue Renegade Zip hoodie. I thought this color was really pretty. Um, it does have like a really big vent in the back, which is fun. So I feel like it'd be really good for going like to and from the gym. It has a really big hood um, and it does kind of have a collar around it. So if you have it zipped up all the way, it will keep your neck nice and warm, good for like the fall. But once again, I got this on sale and I, Chris and I got way too much stuff during the sale. He needed a new like winter jacket. So we got him a winter jacket. We got him a bomber. We got so much stuff during the sale as you guys are uh, seeing. But. I really like this. I think this color is really pretty um, and just once again, good for going like to and from the gym. Next item up, once again from the sale is, is the All Yours Cropped Hoodie. They have this still available on the website and actually in some new colors. It's way stretchier than I thought it was going to be. It looked kind of like a stiff material on the website, but um, yeah, it's just, it's stretchier than I would have thought and really flattering. Because I have a long torso, I was kind of nervous it wasn't going to be long enough. I think it actually fits really, really well. So I'm very excited I tried this. This next one's kind of like a windbreaker material in a very bold color, which is why I wanted it so bad. This is the Break the Mold Pullover. It is so bright and beautiful. I feel like it's the perfect, like, like I said, like windbreaker. I don't know if you're if I'm going to run at the track or something or going to do a bleacher workout. It's nice and lightweight. It's cropped. It has the little Lululemon logo on the back in reflective detail. Um, it has the mock neck where you can still like cinch it if you want to. Same thing with the bottom. I will say when you put your arms out, it there's like you kind of look like you have wings. It's it's not like very structured but it's really comfy and I just think it's fun. And once again, I got it on sale. So I figured why not? I love the color. It's something different, something unique. Wanted to try something new. Um, I did get this in the extra small to small. It makes me super nervous whenever they have their sizing like that because thinking of me being an extra small is like, there's no way I'm gonna fit into it, but this actually fits really good. And the same thing with my Soft Ambition um, cropped crew neck that I have that extra small to small fits really well as well. So if you're like a four or six in tops, don't be worried. The extra small small will fit you. 
Last but definitely not least, I had to snag this. I had my eyes on it ever since they came out with the legging version. The Defined Hooded Jacket in Nulu. I have like three of these already, but this is the diamond dye, and I just think it's so pretty. It's nice and neutral. Um, and once again, the Nulu, the Nulu material is so comfortable. I really like the fit of this. I'm usually not like a really tight fitted person, but I promise you, if you put this on, it just feels so good. It's really, really flattering. It's nice and long. Um, it still has the pockets on the sides. It has the little thumb holes. And yeah, I, I just genuinely think this is like one of the most comfortable jackets to wear to and from the gym, whether it's summer, winter, whatever, wearing this underneath your winter coat because it's still nice and light. Like you can fit it underneath a winter coat very easily. I absolutely love these. Highly recommend. I think the new limit, anything in the new material. Sign me up. That is gonna be it for the try on. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you, Lulu, for sponsoring this video. I did include some of the items I purchased from the sale as well. Um, so that's why this was gigantic, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comment down below and I will have some more fun videos coming. If you didn't see already, I have a shorts video actually up on Lulu's channel, which is like very exciting. Um, I feel very honored to be able to work with them and partner with them. It's just been super fun. And I know you guys really enjoy all of this content as well. Um, but yeah, everything will be listed down below. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out on Instagram or down below in the comment section. And I will see you guys in the next video with hopefully some more good house updates.